Hello, and welcome back once again to Doomed. Solo playthroughs, oh, not so solo playthroughs, perhaps, through Arkham Horror, the card game, with a focus on roleplay and Subscriber. storytelling. Subscribe! 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 Thank you! Take that, Kung Fu Fenris, thank you. I also have to replay before we do anything. <laughs> that is a disaster. I have to have the um, capture up really far uh, for for other reasons. Yikes. Yikes or doodles. That's correct, folks. It's not so solo because today I'm joined by a very special guest star, The Crosshair. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Crosshair? <laughs> I'm doing good. So far. Excellent. Let me, uh, whilst we chat just briefly, I have to replay. Um, that uh, that's that's right, Super Dylan. It's the crosshair. I'm just gonna replay. Um, Super Dylan deserves only one. Oh. subscriber. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Super Dylan. Much appreciated. Uh, and in the meantime, I will take my Sergey notifications. <laughs> and just turn the volume way the hell down on them. That's what I'm going to do, because that's going to take some time. So, what are we up to today, Crosshair? <laughs> uh, we are uh, going back to the jungle. Oh, welcome to the jungle. Yeah, basically, uh, uh, wh where we have fun um, and games. Not so, yeah, not so fun. <laughs> Lots of games. Not so games, not so games. Lots of games, not so fun, basically. Ah, you know what? F it. What are the, what's the likelihood I'm going to get a follow during this stream? Hang on, let me see if I can actually change that. I feel like I need to change these settings. It's going to be really loud otherwise. Um, Don't tempt me. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, crosshair. Uh, oh, how do I... Hmm. I'll find it, guys. Don't worry. In the meantime... We will talk a little bit about where we're at in the campaign. Ursula Downs was exploring the mysteries of the Etsley in the jungles of Mexico uh, and uh, promptly failed uh, on her face pretty hard uh, and was joined by mysterious, dark, scary stranger Leo Henderson, who enjoys shooting things. Um, and stabbing things. And stabbing things. My apologies. We, we don't discriminate here. Uh, um, specifically, there we go. I'm going to turn these way the heck down. Um, that's a host, and we're going to put the sub sound down a little bit too. Good. We went. Va we ventured back to Arkham, uh, where we were able. We weren't able to get our hands on the relic of ages, but we were certainly able to get our hands on um, helping Alejandro, helping Iktaka, who's one of the people from well, one of the Etsli from Mexico, um, and. What else? Then we returned to Mexico, Ursula and Leo, yep. where we spoke with a contact of Alejandro's, Padma Amrita, uh, who turned out to be pure evil, um, and had uh, Iktaka had taken us through some sort of crazy fever dream of like one possible future uh, full of cultists and, and time tears and I don't know what the heck, trans-dimensional garbage. Um, didn't go so great. Uh, we got a no. no. We got a glimpse into the future, which is cool, um, but we did not get any information about finding the nexus of Nikai, which is what we are currently on the hunt for. I think that's about it in terms of intro. So we're back in the jungle. I'll go through the prelude in just a moment. If you are watching this VOD on YouTube, you can of course jump to the comment section down below. I've got a little what do they call those? A little time code uh, to jump you forward to the, where the action's going to start. And hello to Requiem. Requiem, welcome to Doomed. Uh, I'm joined by special guest star, The Crosshair. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, let's just jump in. Here we go. Doomed. That's the screen. I will point out, of course, Crosshair is in the habit of graffitiing my table. Uh, specifically, we have here uh, Neon Cat. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because, why? Yeah. Because we are at the mouth of Kinyan. Kinyan! It's true. Oh boy, it's gonna be one of those games. Ah, Requiem asks if we are not allowed to say a specific name in the game. No, Poor there is no restriction. What? We can say John's name. We can say John all the time. Exactly. Yeah, no okay. problem about John. Yeah, we're allowed to say John. 
Whoa! Hello, Puka Jutsu! Hi. Pony's riding hard. Pony's riding hard. Puka Jutsu at the head of the team. Pony's riding to their doom. To their doom. <laughs> this is welcome to Duped. Um, it's great to see you. I feel like I had a host notification or a raid notification, but I don't know. I'll turn it on for uh, Sergey on Tuesday, I guess. <laughs> what a disaster. We're not here for hosts although and raids, although we do thank you. We're here for Doom. Okay. The Mouth of Kinyan, the Cavern's Maw. Crosshair. Uh, before we dive in, do you want to talk people through... Uh, were you able to spend any experience? Oh, uh, yeah. I spent the whole one experience that we got. <laughs> Went really bad last time, guys. <laughs> Magnificent one experience. And I got myself adaptable, which means that between each game we have, I can change two cards to neutral cards. Mm -hmm. Zero cost cards around in my deck. So it gives a bit of adaptability. Bam. As the name says. Yeah. Yeah, it's um. So, it's, mm -hmm. sorry. So yeah, I switched a couple of cards around. One which is contraband, which, uh, d basically doubles the stuff on an item. Contraband, which so, is super good. So coming uh through Mexico City, Leo presumably took a little detour to pick up some contraband ammunition of some kind. I imagine. Yeah, some fireworks and stuff like that it's just a crate of fireworks leo are you sure you should yeah. have that in the jungle <laughs> uh, little fire never hurt anybody <laughs> points at swaths of forest de decimated by forest fires uh <laughs> no i'm just kidding uh, i also had one experience i also had one experience left over from the previous scenario so i used my two experience to buy um some stuff, some little, some little trinkets. I'm hoping said trinkets become available to Ursula over the course of the scenario. Uh, but if they do not, then I won't spoil it <laughs> by saying what they are. Okie dokie. Yeah, let's read. Uh, we'll read our introduction. Uh, as a reminder, we had a little interlude before of coming down through the jungle uh, by car. RJ, what's up? How you doing, RJ? Welcome to Doomed. Uh, joined by a special guest star, The Crosshair. Hello. <laughs> I hope you don't mind that I like essentially force you to do that every time. No, not at all. Oh, no, not at all. Okay, good. So uh, in terms of the interlude going back to the jungle, we were not out of gas. We did not discover a path, so nothing so far. We were not low on rations. Uh, nobody's poison spread, which sounds horrible, but you know what I mean. Um, uh, Smarty Pants Leo brought a canteen of water. Uh, Ursula, I guess, is relying on her, like, weird water skins um, or something. Uh, Leo was able to wash dirt and grime off of the stone wall and find some information out about the mouth of Kinyan. And we'll start with a clue, which sounds pretty good to me. Uh, and then the last thing has nothing to do with us because we don't know anything about Ikitaka. <laughs> So that just, that just does not count. Scenario 5A, Heart of the Elders, Part 1. It has been several days since your party ventured forth into the rainforest once more, and each day the hazards you face grow more dangerous and frequent. Securing enough food and supplies for the journey is a constant struggle, and you're harassed at every turn by the jungle's inhabitants. Fortunately, you have seen no sign yet of the serpent people who attacked the previous expedition, but you're positive that they're out there watching, waiting. On the morning of the sixth day, you find the entrance. It's a huge cave opening, partially obscured by trees, brush, and vines. You nearly missed the Great Cavern Mall altogether, despite its enormity. Surrounding the cavern's entrance are six stone pillars, each covered in strange grooves and carvings that will glow with a dim red hue. Perhaps one of your guides will understand what it means? Um, oh, I like this part. You like this part? <laughs> yeah. Oh, y yeah. So uh, let's consult with Iktaka. We can't. She's not in our deck. Let's consult with Alejandro. We can't. He's not in our deck. <laughs> let's consult the Expedition Journal. I do actually have that. So we're going to skip to intro four. I do have the Expedition Journal from the Expedition. Uh, the previous Expedition Journal 
doesn't have all the answers, surprise, but as you browse its pages, you are struck by a familiar diagram, one drawn by Lorenzo, an expedition member who never made it back to Arkham. It is a delicate rec recreation of a carving that was on the wall of one of the Ethsley ruins. Many of the patterns and hieroglyphs you see in this drawing are shared among the pillars. It cannot simply be a coincidence. These pillars are surely the key to finding your way to Nikai. Or, sorry, Nian. <laughs> um, begin this scenario with Expedition Journal in play, which I will do. Proceed to setup. This has all been done, so we're... Um, uh, we're supposed to put a resource on the mouth of Kinyan for each path that is known to us. I consulted the uh, campaign guide, um, campaign journal, Crosshair, uh, and none are known to us. If you recall oh. that very, very sad ending to last scenario. Um, yeah. <laughs> so disappointing. Where we got nothing done. Correct. We all, we got one thing done, and then the game screwed us over. <laughs> um so we've created the exploration journal as usual, uh, and that's it. So we're ready to we're ready to jump in here. I'm going to read the agenda and the act first. Thank you. And then there's the exploration deck. Cool. Agenda one A: the jungle's heart. You are deep in the jungle now, surrounded on all sides by uncharted wilderness. If only I'd brought a map. All around you, the rainforest sings. Its lyrics found in every chirping insect, every snapping tree branch, every serpent's hiss. Action. Explore. Draw the top card of the encounter deck. If it's a connecting location, put it into play and move to it. If it's not, you keep looking. Unless it's a treachery, then you just get the treachery. Act 1A. Which oh, we yes. always do. Which we always do, yes. I, I feel like we always get them out of the way, like, the first turn. <laughs> which is just yeah. ridiculous. Uh, Act 1A. Search for the pattern. Six stone pillars surround the entrance to the cavern, each carved with a series of uncanny grooves and hieroglyphs that form an intricate pattern. Touching them causes the grooves to glow brightly, and twisting them causes the patterns to shift and change. Perhaps these patterns match the glyphs found in other regions of the jungle? Question mark? Um, <laughs> question mark? We need four clues, and then we can advance at any time. Um, quick mention... The mouth of Kinyan, where we start, has an action to resign, so we can always GTFO if we feel like it. Uh, also, check your supplies. If you have a compass, look at the top three cards of the exploration deck, put one on the bottom and the other two on top. So you can't choose where you're going, but you can sort of detect whether one direction is better than the other or not, which is pretty good, I think. Uh, also, there's skulls and weird and elder things in the bag. The skulls are minus one crosshair, which is pretty good. Yeah. And the weird tentacle things are minus three if you fail, take a horror, which sounds oh, right. pretty bad. I and mean, there's two of those in the jungle for sure. Yeah, and I have four sanity left, so... I also have four sanity left, but I'm hoping, again, fingers crossed that I'm able to do something about that as we progress through the scenario. Yeah. Okay, we've got and our I... supply. Oh, yep, go ahead, so please tell me. I, I do have kerosene, so I hope I get to burn something. Burn some snake bodies. Maybe even my body, I don't know. I mean, please don't do that, but... Um... <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. We're going to get into it, folks. Um, if you're ready, Crosshair, I'm ready. Let's draw our opening hand. Scenario 5A, Heart of the Elders. Let's get doomed. Five cards. Uh, sorry, I draw six. <laughs> rude. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, it's so rude. I do not like the majority of this hand. So, uh, well, generous. Going in the discard. It's a very generous mulligan here in um, in Arkham, which is very kind of them. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do this. That's a weakness. I put that back. Damn. None of the stuff I want. Well, no, not none. I shouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Back and... Oh, I do have an extra action. Oh, yes, the Expedition Journal allows me an additional action, which can only be used to explore. So I will take a free explore action sometimes. Requiem Lost thinks we need Nancy Drew. I agree. Nancy would also have plot armor against the jungle, which feels really good right now. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm not really good at the jungle. It does 
horrible things to my skin. Yeah, j- and then proceeds to like leap nimbly over a twenty foot gorge or something. <laughs> Just ridiculous. <Yeah. laughs> um, cool. How how do we feel? Should we should we jump in? Uh, I'm just gonna check, but Mulligan is that you throw away a number of cards and take others, but you can't then throw anything back. Uh, yes, like you have to Mulligan all at once, if that's what you yeah. mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah because I... I Mulliganed two cards and got <clears throat> crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we are in the jungle, it's not crap, but... Cool. Okay. Okay, since we're in the jungle, it's not crap. Interesting. Okay. Well, um, yeah, uh, I mean, look, we, you know, the advantage to playing in a team is we can choose what we want to do and who wants to go first. So obviously I have a compass and the ability to explore and some stuff that I want to play. I imagine you have something similar as well. Do you have a, do you have uh, actions you want to take? Yeah, I could go first because I need to do a thing and it takes some time. I need to do a thing. Sounds like so exciting. Go for it, bud. Leo. Okay, so as my free action, I'm going to pull into my bag and pull out Scruffles. Scruffles! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> roar, roar, roar. Oh my! You brought that dog all the way down from Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> he goes everywhere that I go. Ah, he's so sweet. I love Scruffles. Then, as my first action, I'm going to just rummage around in my bags and find some resources. It's a pretty good opening hand. That's six. As the second action, Leo is just going to pull out his backpack. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> so, the upgraded... Which... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, which means that it's upgraded, so I get to look at the 12 cards of my deck. And it only costs and... one, from what I recall. Yeah. I really so... like the idea that you pull out your cache of stuff, and then you go into your backpack, do you know what I mean? Like, you're yeah. like, oh, I've got this. I've also got these! Yeah. Digging through your bag. But before I do that, even... I. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna go ruffle through these, and then I'm gonna play some equipment, but I don't know what yet. So you can do your thing. Okay. Like the plan. The plan is you're gonna put three items on it, and you'll probably play one of them. Is that the idea? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Either either from my hand or the back. I okay. Know. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Well, that's fine. Yeah, because yeah, I'll let you um, start doing this. So as Leo's rummaging around. Ursula's, you know, rare and to go. I think this is a pretty wild um, opening turn I've got planned, but I'm going to go for it. She, of course, has her camera, naturally, and her old bud Jake from back in Arkham has decided to come down with her this time. Jake, the loyal companion, he's pretty handsome, I think, all things considered. Ursula likes to think that she's, you know, she and Jake have something going on, but you know, if she's being honest with herself, like, she's really, she's married to the unknown <laughs> more than anything. Um, she's got her camera for taking evidence of uh, what they see in the jungle, sort of hints about how to unlock these um, sculptures. And, of course, Jake is now here. Uh, I'm going to use my third action to use my compass. So I'm going to look at the top three cards of the exploration deck. And then I get to put one on the bottom and one on the top, and you love to see it. Uh, I can't say anything about what it was. The other two on top in any order. I guess I should see what's connected, right? Yeah. That one. Okay. And then last action, I have a... Well, last action. Free action. The Expedition Journal has given uh, Ursula a, a hint, like an ability of where she needs to go, so she's going to set off. Um, I'll, I'm, I'm taking my last action as we go across here. here. Uh, yep. Yep. This is... Whoa. Is this actually connected? Damn! Boop. Zipping off into the jungle. This show, show immediately. She's got her compass out and she's found, she's made connections between what's in the Expedition Journal and 
essentially stumbles upon the overgrown ruins. Uh, this is a five shroud, two clue location. Um, I mean, I get a free explore. I get a free investigate here. I guess I'll try it. Um, do I want to? I'm no longer poisoned, so I don't lose my. Oh, uh, I get to draw a card from Jake, and I guess I'll. I'm not going to succeed, but I suppose I could try. What's the worst that could happen? A horror, right? <laughs> That's the. <laughs> I am going to try. I'm going to take my free investigate. Nope, big, big old fail. Woof. Okay, so there's nothing that she can tell from these ruins. They are covered. A dense thicket of flora obscures the route to these ruins. Tendrils of vine grip the pyramid steps as though holding on for dear life. That's it's absolutely. She she's gonna need some sort of chopping device to get through here. Okay, cool. I'm uh, I'm back, Crosshair. Sorry. Back to you. <laughs> so yeah, Leo. Leo checked his backpack that he has his two guns and his decorated skull in there, because that's all I found. <laughs> I mean, not the worst. Not the worst. And then he's gonna just... Seeing Ursula run off into the jungle, he's just gonna pull out his yes. machete. Oh, you love to see it! They're in the jungle. <laughs> yes, gotta get slashing. Oh, I love machete. Yeah. And look at this, so and now... Yeah. This, it was my first turn, and I have one card left. That's... So, so yeah, so, I mean, let's let's talk about that for a second. You were able to play four cards and pull out an additional three, plus three from a stick to the plan. Like, your whole deck is thinned now. Uh, Zen Robo is yep. here, and I just want to say, Zen, hello. Uh, welcome to Doomed. I've got special guest star of the crosshair here. Hello. Hello. Zen Robo won at Netrunner. Big green Congrats. check mark. Congratulations. Uh, Zen, are you guys playing with the new system gateway? I haven't picked mine up yet from John, whose name we're allowed to say. Uh, and I'm so, 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 so excited for it. Um, was it fun? Because <laughs> you can win, but was it fun? This is the question. Oh, rip John. Okie dokie. Uh, well, that is that crosshair so there's no enemies on the board so we're going to move straight yep. into our upkeep where we can ready all our shit <laughs> oh it was our first one i'm so happy for you guys oh man uh yeah draw a card gain a resource, resource draw a card. Mm -hmm. it was yep. excellent excellent zen uh, and then naturally it's time for the jungle to kick our butts Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we're at one out of five doom, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna draw our encounter cards here. Congrats, Kate. That's really fun. Uh, I will uh, draw. Here we go. So uh, well designed. Oh, good, John. I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so right, uh, Ursula's dashed off into the overgrown ruins where she thinks there might be something hidden under there somewhere. Leo's still back at camp, like pulling out, like, blades and guns and skulls and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the usual. Oh, no! Snake bite! Test agility three. If you fail, I have to kill my ally or take a damage and get poisoned. So I'm going to try to pass this. <laughs> yeah. That's, that seems like a plan. Um, I'm pretty dexterous, though, so Ursula, you know, sees the stripes of the coral snake coming towards her, you know, well in advance. So she's going to try to leap out of the way and warn her companion Jake about it as well. Uh, yep, I'm uh, six. Six to three. That's what you like to see. Draw a card from Mandex. Uh, okay, cool. So I passed. Um, she nimbly dodges out of the way, and she's still here at the Overgrown Ruins. Yeah, let's see what Leo has. Fun times. I think that's not is... fun times. <laughs> <laughs> not fun times. Okie dokie. So Leo is just uh, rummaging through his backpack and suddenly a hole appears below him and he falls? Question mark? Oh my god. At camp? Oh, at the mouth of Kenyan, yeah. I guess. Yeah. It's a giant cavern. Yeah. Makes sense. Just prepares and starts walking and falls into a pit. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> 
Okay, test agility 3. Oh, yay. You can jump the gap or shuffle pitfall into the exploration deck. You cannot choose this option if pitfall was drawn from the exploration deck. <laughs> because I take one damage for each fail point and I have one agility. So, oh, it does not seem uh, very good. Yeah, pitfall is going bye bye. Is it going into the exploration deck? What a oh, day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because this... yep. I'm hoping you're going to draw it. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yep. So the basically the pitfall, you're like, whoa. And then you look around and you're like, I don't think I'm going to tell anyone about that. <laughs> yeah, nah. Nah. <laughs> they can handle it. Yeah, they'll be fine. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, we're back. It's uh, the investigation phase. Um, investigation phase. Yeah, I really want to come back to these ruins because it's worth victory too, but I don't have enough um, intellect to really explore here yet. So I might come back to camp and try to compass out another path for us both to take. Uh, if that's... Oh, right. It's, it's shade tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's got a Shroud of Five, which is not so great. Um, I do want to come back to it. I just think I'm going to try to clear another location first, see if I can find anything else. Um, yep. So if you'll if you'll let me, I can start and maybe maybe even find two um, places for us to explore, potentially. Yep. So Ursula... I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do anything here. Ursula moves back into camp. She announces loudly and proudly to Leo that she's found some overgrown ruins out there in the jungle, um, but that she doesn't isn't quite sure what the significance of uh, is of them yet. Yay! You found some rocks. <laughs> they're not rocks, Leo. They're stones. <laughs> uh, oh, I want to be able to see what this card is. Mm. Here, hang on. I have to actually like look at them. Okay, that's wait. Is that right? It's weird. That looks like the wrong. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll find out. So you found <laughs> they're not rocks, Leo. They're minerals. <laughs> so that one is not a thing right now. That's not a thing, and that's going on the bottom for sure. All right, the other two go on top in any order. Hmm. Odd. Um, I just noticed I, I was looking at a card that doesn't seem to be from the right... <laughs> it doesn't seem to be from this scenario, which is really odd. Um, well, we'll yeah. see. Yeah, I guess we will. Single side. Alright, well, whatever. Um, or, or it's a thing that connects to a thing that's not yet on the board. That is very possible, actually. Uh, okay, well then, so I'm going to use my... So I, I looked at the card, so I'm going to use my free explore action to explore. Ursula's going to go dash off into the jungle. So I'm drawing cards until I find a connected location. This one is not connected. This one I know is not connected. This one is a treachery, so it's a peril. Um, ah! Balls. Yeah. Sorry, bud. We're low on supplies. Uh, everyone's going to lose two resources. Okay. Yeah. I could have taken the damage also, but both were. I suppose I suppose I could too, actually. Uh, and I want the resources. Oh yeah. yeah, we're taking a damage each, Crosshair. I, I changed my mind. <laughs> no, actually, give me that. <laughs> and then she punches you in the face. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, last okay. action. I'm going to explore again. I'm just going to try to clear out as much of this as I can. Because I'm here and I'm ready, so we're going to search again. I'm looking for... Yeah, so, so Ursula is, of course, concerned uh, about the supplies that we brought here in the jungle. Like, we're not sure how long we're going to be here and what we're even going to find. Uh, it's the paranoia of it that is <laughs> starting to hurt us. Um, so Did you I, find a pit? I found a pit! So Ursula also immediately falls into the pit. Uh, I am going to try to attempt to jump the gap. So, uh, <laughs> son and of a... Leo just goes, oh yeah. There's a big pit out 
Thank you so. Thank 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 you so much. Thank you so much, Leo. Uh, I have five agility versus the three of this pit. Wowzers. <laughs> take uh, two damage and I'll put another one on Jake. What a disaster. Okay, so huge um, pit yawns before Ursula as she tries to step out uh, through the mouth of Kenyon. Um, she manages to scramble back from the edge just in time, but gashes her leg in the meantime. <laughs> so uh, you're welcome, Crosshair. I did not find anything, but I did pull out some treacheries for you. Yep, okay. Um, God so... damn it. <laughs> Glad I put it there. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> That's the game, Leo right? Look... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Leo just looks into the pit and... Did it hurt? <laughs> oh, that sounded like Nancy Drew, actually. Did it She's... hurt? Mm. She's looking up at you like... Hmm. <laughs> well... First, Leo is gonna look into his backpack. Okay. And pull out his decorated skull. A classic. I'm, I'm actually gonna move these to the side so they don't get like <laughs> confused. <laughs> but yeah, Leo okay. just pulls out his trusted decorated skull, waiting to kill something. As you do. As he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm ready. And uh, I think Leo is just gonna go explore. May as well, right? Yeah. Uh, do you want to do it? You're much better at the exploration yeah. something than me. <laughs> oh, I, I can look for you. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Of course. So yeah, I'm looking for yeah. either a brown squ a brown squiggle or a burgundy um, hourglass. If you're exploring from here. Okay. Nope. Nope. It's a goddamn pit again. It's a goddamn pit! Fuck these pits! Excuse me. And since it's drawn from the exploration deck, I can't even... I can't even... <laughs> uh, I can... It... I mean, I can try to help you, but I'm not actually sure if it would be very useful for you, um, given your situation. Nah. Leo just looks into the pit and mockingly at Ursula and just almost falls down into it. <laughs> it's gonna be a three on one. What a what a bumbling duo we are. Uh three on one. Well, that's two damage? Yeah, it's better than better than nothing. Better than three damage, I guess is basically what I'm saying. Ay oi. So yeah, Leo just looks into the pit and falls Absolute. right down there on his head. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. I, I just... Like you said, Crosshair, like we're we're pulling all the treacheries out of the deck first, you know? That's the that's the game yeah. plan, I guess. <laughs> Luckily, I can afford the damage, but... Just explore again. Oh, that's for the other scenario. I understand. I was looking at the wrong thing this whole time. <laughs> oh. Oh, are we? Uh, are Still we going here? Yep. Yep. Are yep. we going for okay. a? We're going for another explorer. Mm. Yep. Here we go. Well, great. <clears throat> what what a goddamn disaster! Requiem is correct. It's almost like they don't want people to find this place. This is so shitty to start the game, but we're okay. We're doing fine. What's going on? Uh, Leo, so, are you are you okay? Yeah, Leo falls into the same goddamn pit, and as he's laying there holding his bum knee like... Oh. Ah, he notices that ants are crawling all over him. Oh, yikes! It's a pit of ants. A pit of ants! So, yeah, there's... For agility this time, uh, each er point you fail by mm -hmm. discard a random card from your hand. Ursula is going to uh, throw a rope down to you. Um, this is just it's it's one agility uh, point so that you have two instead of one. 
So if I draw a zero, I'll lose only two cards in uh, my hand. Or from or from play. <laughs> oh, no, I'm true, oh, but or choose and discard a card from your play area. I don't know if you actually would want to do that, though. You're right. So maybe this is a bad idea. No, oh. I think I'm gonna empty my hand if I fail. Oh. All right. Well, rip. Well, let's ants. See. Minus one. <laughs> that's. Three, so oh, I empty my, my hand. Yep. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, discard a random card from your hand or choose and discard a card from your play area. It doesn't mean because I lost by three that uh, I have to discard it, these two hand cards and then one it, from. Yeah, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, I mean, I can look it up if you want me to. Uh, we can also. Because it uses the word or, right? Like. Yeah. It says or choose and discard. I'm just gonna I'll I'll look it up and see what there is here. Oh yeah, it's a choose and discard card, so you can discard one card from the play area or three cards from your hand. Mm -hmm. That's not right. Uh here we go. It's, I'm just curious. But yeah, I'm I'm sure I'm sure you're right. Yeah, no, no, I'm sure, so, I'm sure it's fine. Let, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna play it. So yeah, it's one card from the playing field or three cards from the hand. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, that must be what it is. Because then Leo is just gonna throw his machete at the ants, like get away from me. <laughs> You're gonna throw your machete I... at the ants? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Wowzers. Well, yeah. okie dokie. That's me. That's you. All right, well, we're into upkeep, because, again, there's no enemies on the board other than the ants, which obviously are not feeling so good here. Um, we'll ready all our yeah, shit and draw card get Apparently, it they had enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So we're okay. We're getting somewhere now, I think, Crosshair. This is good. Scruffles. No. Scruffles, you can save us. I sure hope nothing really bad happens, though. That's all I have to say. Um, two okay. out of five. Two out of five, and we're going to start drawing encounter cards. So have we made any progress? I mean, we found some ruins. We found a lot of ants and pits. I, f I feel yep. like that's progress in a, mm -hmm. in a way. Creeping poison. No one's poisoned. So nothing happens. Uh, but it surges, so I'm going to draw another one. Ants! Son of a... <laughs> All right, well, it's it's ants, so I mean, the ants that you launched the machete at have started crawling out of the pit and up Ursula's leg, and she's going to try to shake them off. Yep. Um, I will discard two cards at random from hand. I'm going to regret that. I'm very much going to regret that. Yep. Yeah, I'm very much going to regret that. Okay, well, you know, what are you going to do? Fucking well, ants. Fucking <laughs> ants. Sorry, that's, a, that's, not, that's not in play. Okay, that's me. I um, I got anted. <laughs> Over to you. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm going to ready my backpack because backpacks need to be ready. All right, exactly. <clears throat> well, they can't be just, you can't just carry them around open. Yay! What the f Yay? fudge is this? So, uh, actually, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wowzers. So, apparently, from the ants and from the pits, this weird hunting strangleweed mm -hmm. comes out and just start to threaten Leo. Yikes. So um, it's a 363 alert retaliate. And when it makes an attack of opportunity, check your supplies. If you do not have a pocket knife, lose all remaining actions and end your turn. So if you try to, you know, grab a grab a gun or whatever, it gets to attack you. And then if you didn't have a way to cut yourself free, it would just strangle you and end your turn, which is. Pretty... But yeah, luckily, luckily Leo is 
A prepared boy scout and has a pocket knife. Okay, so good thing you drew it, basically, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> uh, well, okie dokie then. Um, yikes. Uh, well, we're into the investigation phase. Ursula is, like, brushing off ants and then turns around and there's this horrible you know, plant object, like, vines coming up and, like, grabbing at Leo's legs, and I don't know what's going to happen here. Six health. It's okay. a lot of health. Okay. <clears throat> How am I going to deal with this? Unless you have any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my idea would only be... I could try to take it off you and, uh, you know, leave it in the dust so that we can get the hell out of here. But, like, that's not yeah, the best the... idea. Yeah, what does alert mean? Uh, alert is like retaliate, but for evasion. So, um, ah. right. Oh. So if you if you try to evade it and fail, it hits you. If you try to hit it and fail, it hits you. <laughs> if you do okay. anything other than hit it, it hits you. <laughs> it's a disaster. Well... Leo is going to do what Leo does best, so... Yay! I'm gonna, he's going to reach into his backpack, even if this strangle weed is crushing his bum leg. Ah, oh, my leg! Oh. And pulls out one of his <clears throat> 45 automatics. Yeah. I'll give you your ammo oh. here. Thank you! It normally loads automatically, but like, you know... Yeah, Ursula just loads his. <laughs> Here you go. Let me help. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me help. No, 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 no. You, you shoot the thing. <laughs> and so it deals to one health and one sanity. Right? Mm -hmm. You're right. So Leo is gonna take one and Scruffles is just gonna try and fight it back Rawr. also. <laughs> Rawr. So Scruffles takes one damage. But so does the Strangleweed. It, yeah, because Scruffles fights back. It's a pretty uh, honestly, that's a pretty that's a pretty beefy enemy, I gotta say. Three six three. Although it's worth a victory point, so that feels like something that we wanna do. Uh potentially. Yeah. And with that Leo aims his 45. Yes! Let's go! Fire! Blam! So, it's gonna be a 5 on 3. I... Yeah, let's go with that first. 5 on 3! And that would be a... Minus 3 if you fail, take a horror. Are we, uh, are we just gonna call this one a, a wash? I feel like we should just call this a wash. <laughs> I mean, we gotta go down fighting, but like, my goodness. I lost the card uh, that heals. Not... I just, oh my god. We're not dead yet. <laughs> so, Leo is gonna fire again. Yes! Because that's what he does. That's what he's gonna try to do. Yeah. Uh, I will... Yeah. Yeah, just... I, uh, can, oh. I can boost. One. Okay. So it's yeah. Yeah, you may as well, right? Bye bye. Yep. Bye bye. And X um, six on three seems fine. <laughs> he <laughs> says as he pulls a minus four. Uh, it's entirely possible, you know. Ah. Yay! Oh. That's two damage. Blam. So it's halfway dead. <laughs> yep, it's getting there. Um, it's my turn. I could no go. My go. Yeah. So I could look. It's not. It's not ideal. But what I could try to do is take it off you, so at least it doesn't do any more damage or horror. And then it'll still. Actually, yeah. It would be good if it did one damage to me because I do take one horror, but Scruffy will do one damage, and then, you and can then I can finish it off. Yep, next that's time. that's a plan. Uh, okay, well, in that case, um, <laughs> Ursula, yeah. Run along. Well, Ursula's looking at Leo, and he's just like, what, giving her the grim thumbs up, probably? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you can handle this one. Yeah, you've got this. Yeah, okay, see you later. Um, so free action I'm going to explore. 
Uh, I really don't know what I'm looking for here that's still connected. Um, I guess we'll... The overgrown ruins are connected to the rope bridge and the trail. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to explore from here, though, because there's still locations that are connected, so I'm going to look for them. Although, apparently, I'm going to hit one of these first. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. So this is Lost in the Wilds. Ursula has ventured out, but she's, despite her compass... Oh, I should have compassed! What am I doing? It's fine. Despite her compass has um, totally whiffed uh, her sense of direction. She has no idea where she's going. I'll toss a card here and test Will 3. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. So I take... Oh my god. So I take two horror and I can't move or explore. One goes on me, one goes on Jake. Well, uh, I can't explore Crosshair, so... I think I am going to try to evade this thing. Oh no, you don't want me to, though. No. <laughs> no. I can take it. Okay, no, I, I got this. Oh, okay. This one was mine. Alright, well, then at least I'm going to play the goddamn Dream Diary. <laughs> Ursula, Ursula realizes that the jungle has once again, like, you know, um, closed its net around them. The, the beasts of the wilds are, like, absolutely uh, destroying them. Um, everyone is starting to fray, and she realizes the only thing she really has is the diary of her dreams, which seem to be related to this region. So I'll pull those out. And then second uh, other action I'll draw. Absolutely classic. Um, <laughs> this is a weakness that I now have to go and choose locations and investigate them turn after turn. And last action I'm going to... Um, incredible. I'm going to draw a card. Oh my god! Cross... <laughs> Sorry, I don't. I actually don't think I've ever had a game that's gone this ridiculously. So about that resign option, I I might I might take it after this because then we can just call it quits, right? Like resign just says you walk away. Um, okay, so overzealous, despite the fact that Ursula can't, despite the fact that she's lost in the wilds, she is so angry at the jungle she starts to like punch trees and kick at grass and whatever so she's going to uh draw two cards one of which gains surge ah okay this is good crosshair it can't gain surge yeah. if it already has surge so that's actually okay and then that's bad this is pit viper um okay damn <laughs> Are you sure? All right. Uh, yeah. Just like Leo is fighting with this creeping, crawling thingy and notices uh, Pit White better going towards Ursula and just like, ah, no, no, Incredible. I got this. <laughs> now you don't get your plus two, unfortunately, because it's only if it has a yeah. revelation on it. But st I mean, still, like, it's still a, it's still a snake. <laughs> well, uh, I appreciate that anyway. Um, I guess it's now that... Th what a disaster of a turn. I don't think I've ever seen a turn go from so good to so bad. Yikes. It's now the enemy phase. Um, in the enemy phase, enemies hit. Uh, oh, well, hunters hunt and then enemies yep. hit. Yep. Yep. So, first off, yep. uh, do they go in any order? Or uh, yeah, choose... yeah, you absolutely choose the order. Okay. So the bit white bear uh, attacks Leo and Scruffles <laughs> jumps in the way of the bit white bear and just tosses it into the jungle. <laughs> Yikes! Because bit white bear does one damage and uh, then Scruffles does the one damage to the bit white. Bear. <laughs> I, f I feel like uh, I feel like guard dog uh, Scruffles is made for the pit viper. Honestly, this is great. Okay. Yeah. It has went in one, so... Well, I mean, that's that's just how it's going to have to be. Uh, yep. I'll go and sneak so. that over into the victory display. So it's Yay. there's one vengeance point in the victory display, which is very exciting. One plus into the 19. <laughs> <laughs> Up to 20, yeah, exactly. Absolutely incredible. And then the Strangleweed keeps attacking Leo... And if I want my plan to work, I get a 
Uh, nah, I'm not gonna sacrifice Scruffles to this. What? Or, uh, or. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Scruffles. Strangle with. Scuffles with Scruffles. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> and uh, deals the one damage to it, no. and it takes one damage. And Leo horrified by losing his dog again. <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, sorry. If if you want to, you can put the horror on uh, Scruffles as well, because like you can assign all of that damage. If you oh, if you true, choose to, true. you can you can choose to. Yeah. Because Scruffles is gonna die anyways. Or so run sad. away. So, so, so sad. <laughs> yeah, right. Run, run away, exactly. Yeah. Scruffles has had enough and runs into the jungle. Uh, well, I don't know about you, but I have no more weaknesses to draw, so. <laughs> Yay. Yay? I think I'm yeah. Draw them. <laughs> just. It's just ridiculous. Okay. Upkeep draws us cards and gains us resources and readies our things. Uh, Leo's still ta uh, tangling with the strangleweed, as it were. Yeah. Um, as I'm we move back, I'm, I'm gonna get it. Uh, as we move back into the mythos phase, I maybe I'm just gonna go and try to clear out this overgrown ruin. Honestly, you never know. We move to three out of five doom already somehow, and we draw our encounter cards. Does this say yeah. when the turn begins? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Voice of the Jungle goes into play in my threat area. It says, if you did not successfully explore this turn, take a horror test will three. If you succeed, discard Voice of the Jungle. So the, uh, the well, like having now interpreted her dreams of a madman, Ursula understands that through those dreams, she you know, can hear the calls of the wild. She always has been able to, but now she understands that they are indeed speaking to her, and that power is drawing her deeper into the jungle. Thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. But you didn't take a horror. Well, well it, it says at the end of your turn... Oh, sorry, it just it just came into my oh, play now, right, right. which is good. Yeah, true. So you hear the call of the unknown... Yep. Which is, is the voice the of the voice of the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, very it's very thematic, Crosshair. We like it. Also, I forgot to say, I like that at the end of last turn, uh, Leo is fighting with a pit viper and a strangleweed and shooting at everything, and Ursula is like, "Dear diary, <laughs> <laughs> dear diary, today Leo's dog bit a snake." I'm wondering if it has yep. a additional meaning beyond the dog biting a snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get a triple on those monsters. Spurs. So, mm -hmm. of course, the strangleweed is covered in poison spores. Yikes. Okay, so what? Oh, so, God, what do these do? Uh,. Well, we attach it to this location, okay. and at the end of the turn, at the end of the round, each investigator at the attached location who is poisoned takes two horror. So, and each investigator at the attached location who is not poisoned must put a set aside poisoned weakness into his or her track area. So okay, so if we're here at the end of the round, they o open and like shoot poison onto us, but then they discard. So yeah, uh, ideally so, we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, it uh, like this place really doesn't like us here. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so while Leo is struggling with this strangleweed. Also, poison spores begin to grow from the ground. Just and... incredible. Okay, well, at least like <sighs> come, come meet me at the friggin' uh, come meet me at the overgrown ruins. I guess that's all we have right now. Just incredible. Yep. Oh, Unless we want to. When does the poison spores actually end of round? End of round is after upkeep. I do remember that. So. Okay. Okay. So we have our whole turns to get the hell out of here, or you know, deal with it in some way, I guess. Yeah. 
Um, I guess it's to the ruins then. To the ruins. Yeah. So do you do you want to try to take down the strangleweed first, or should I yeah. dash off and okay. see what I can do? I'm gonna try and handle it first. Yay! So we get to do stuff. So Leo aims his trusted forty-five. Blam! At the strangleweed, and just takes careful aim to just like shoot at his own leg because it's trying to strangle him. <laughs> <laughs> careful, Leo. Careful, buddy. You gotta get this right on the nose. <laughs> so to speak. Pew! That'll do. Pew, pew! Very good. And with that oh. one shot, the strangleweed goes. Bye-bye. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, yeah, I'll... Um, so it has... Oh, yeah. No, you're doing it. Good, good. Yep. So the Apex Strangleweed has victory because it's very scary. Uh, and Leo gets one on his body gun. <laughs> <laughs> and one on his skull. Be oh, true. true. Oh, actually, sorry, not to. I don't. I don't want to um, play for you here. It does say after an ally asset is defeated as well, so you can you can take another resource for Scruffles if you so choose. I guess. Oh, and the poisonous snake yeah yeah those were all oh my god the skull is like eyes are glowing teeth are grinding horrible <laughs> blood all the clothes. blood for the blood god yeah exactly so i think on my next i'm actually gonna use one charge out of that seems like a plan draw a card yeah card and a resource resolve. feels pretty good here yeah. And as the final action, Leo is just like, okay, I think I've had enough of this <laughs> particular spot, so I'm going to go check out those rocks you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, let's head off into the jungle to... to, to, to and just, hmm? af after Leo enters the overgrown ruins, he's like, these are pretty big rocks, and ends his turn. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> just like sits down. Hmm. hmm. All right. Rocks. Rocks, eh? Okay. Um. Oh, poor explorers. I'm with you, Kung Fu Fenris. What a disaster. Ursula, the call of the wild has been calling her back to these ruins. They hold some sort of power. Um. I am gonna name the overgrown ruins for my call of the unknown, and I have to remember that voice of the jungle is telling me to explore. Uh, I do get my essence of the dream. So first action, Ursula is going to follow Leo into the overgrown ruins. Uh, she's going to ask Leo if he can help at all as she tries to explore, uh, as she tries to, uh, to uncover things. What did you need? You need book? Book. I'm, I'm adding book. some books to try to succeed um, here. Um... I have one book card, but I'm not sure if I want to. Yeah. Uh... No, no, that's a hundred percent. That's 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 up to you. Like I, uh, I would never. I would... Actually, yeah, oh. I'll, I'll commit it. Okay. Oh well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. So because I was gonna save it for a special occasion when I draw something. But we're already nice. both kind of hurt, so there's. <laughs> yeah. So the unknown. Uh, you know, voices of the jungle calling Ursula out to those overgrown ruins. She's using Leo's, like, strong back and bum knee, but strong back, uh, her own uh, scribblings in her dream diary, as well as her powers of deduction to see if she can uncover the clues here. I have four intellect, five because of you, six because of deduction, eight because of essence of the dream. Pew! Oh my god, Crosshair, thank you so much. Uh, that is... That is very lucky. Um, That's two clues. Two clues for me. Call of the Unknown is good. The Hawkeye charges up a little bit. So she's snapping photos. Um, we also cleared a victory location, which feels nice. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, Whoa. At least two experience this time. Yay! <laughs> um, at least. Uh, yeah, let's... Um, should I try to test my... No, I should just try to explore. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna dash away. So she's she's looking for things. She manages to find all sorts of like we, again using um, 
Leo's like uh, pocket knife and canteen to like wash the walls and whatever as they did before. They managed to find all sorts of um, drawings like relating to the mouth of Kinyan, like different arrangements of the pillars, the fact that you can kind of move and manipulate them. Uh, yeah. I'm going to use my free... Uh, no. Yes, I am. I'm going to use my free action to explore from here. From here, I'm looking for... A... <laughs> I'm I am hopefully not looking for that. Um, I'm looking <laughs> I'm looking for the half moon or the heart. Not that one. That one. Yay! Location. Another location, which is actually really good. So I'm gonna zip over there. It is not connected to the mouth. No. Uh, and I don't have a free explorer here. When you attempt to explore while at rope bridge, you have to test agility. So if you if you want to see what's on the other side of the bridge, you have to make sure you don't fall down from the bridge. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I do have two actions left. So if you'll if you'll allow me, I'm going to try to uh, investigate and grab these clues, so that we can move on. Go ahead. That's the plan. You know what? I I explored, so that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to. Um, I'm going to try to see what we can find here at the rope bridge as well. We, I think it's the same rope bridge as last time, actually, but maybe it has new significance now. A skull is minus one, so that's a clue. And then last action. Uh, minus two still succeeds on the rope bridge, so I cleared another location. Feels really good. Okay. That's cool. That's yeah. So now we have enough clues. If you feel like we should advance um, before At the... the end, yeah, uh, like not not quite sure. Like, do we want to ex advance at the end of our investigation? Mm, yeah, probably not. Right, just in case there's something, the act, uh, just in case the act says something like you know. Uh, Run away. Uh, run away, yeah, exactly. I don't know what it would say, exactly, but something like that. Um, yeah, let's let's wait and die in the mythos phase. Yeah, let's wait and die in the mythos phase, Crosshair. I like it. We're into the upkeep phase. Congratulations on killing that strangleweed. That feels quite good. Draw a yep. card, gain a resource. I like that. That looks good to me. I like this. <laughs> Well, that's what we love a to hear. A lot. Oh, oh, a lot. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me. Um, actually, how are these supposed to be arranged here? Okay. I'm gonna just do this. Actually. There we go. Oh, and of course the poisonous spores explode, but we're not there. So, gone. Excellent. Oh. oh. Right, because it's because it's. Uh, oh. End of round, yeah. End of round, which is now, which is good. Uh, <sighs> rather, rather confused about the layout because the visual oh. exploration is different. Yeah, very much here. Yeah, sorry. So let's actually let's change the. You, let, you know what, crosshair? Let's do that. Um, I'm gonna flip it like upside down though, if that's okay. So the ruins would go here, and then the rope bridge would go. Does that make sense? Like, like if I turn, the... if I turn it upside down. Uh, so we have rule. Uh, let me just mm -hmm. like mouth of neon is at the top. Yeah, we could put it to the bottom if you if we want to. And then, oh yeah, yeah, you have it upside down. I yeah, I yeah. do. <laughs> Make, makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> makes sense to do that. Why not? Yeah. Ay, yoy. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, four out of five. Yeah, four out of five. Let's do it. So, uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, that's my mistake. <laughs> uh, what have we managed to do so far? We've fought a whole bunch of creatures. Uh, Ursula's yeah. finally in a place where, like, being drawn further into the jungle, she's actually uncovering things, which is amazing. Uh, but what fresh hell awaits them now? Lost in the Wilds, a classic. I I'm gonna I need to pass this, so I'm gonna just try to pass this. Uh, I have four willpower. Yep, I'm just gonna try oh, to pass and... it. Hmm? 
Hmm? You're not at my location, so... Correct, because I'm a big fool. Nope! What a disaster. I'm going to take a... <laughs> I'm going to take a... Oh, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to kill Jake. Jake's dead. Bye, Jake. Sorry, bud. Jake's dead. Um, You cannot move or explore. Yeah. Oh. Well... That's... I guess you're gonna check your supplies and take some... Oh, but Call of the Unknown. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna take some horror, I guess. Maybe I'll find someone who can, um, you know, deal with that for me. Like, not you, I mean, like, a, like another ally, maybe. Hopefully. It, yeah, because <laughs> you can't move, so you can't put anything on the Call of the Unknown. So Correct. you're gonna take two horror. Yep. Okay. I also have to get rid of Voice of the Jungle, because otherwise I'm totally screwed. Because then that's actually yep. three horror. Yep. Uh, Let's see wow. where this goes. God damn. Damn it, Ursula! Get it together! Oh my! God. It's a it's a snake. The snake is back. Run, Leo. Or. No, no. No, no. It's a dead viper. We already have like nineteen of wins, so I don't even care. About <laughs> you don't even know. Let's just punch it in the face. Like, let's go. Um. Uh, may I, um, if you will allow me, may I take my turn first just to see if I'm going to die or not? Oh, for sure. Thank you. If I, um... Well, you're four at seven, so you're not dead yet. Voice of the Jungle says, if you did not successfully explore, take a horror, but I can test willpower to get rid of it. So my yeah. ideal here is that I'm going to try to get rid of Voice of the Jungle. Uh, oh, oh, I have Essence of the Dream. Yes, okay, cool. I'm going to commit my Essence of the Dream to try to get rid of it. So she's going to try to just block out all additional sounds and concentrate on where this this voice is coming from that's kind of f freezing her to the spot in the middle of the rope bridge. <gasps> Hi, Lamira. We're in big trouble, Lamira. but welcome to Doomed. I am joined by special guest star, The Crosshair. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. you you haven't you haven't joined us for the full thing, Lamira, and that's cool. But like, it has been a disaster today. Although lots of lots of murder, which is nice. Um, okay, here we go. I'm testing my will. I have six willpower, so I'm gonna just test here. Excellent. Okay, cool. So at least that's good. Um, and then I guess I'm gonna draw some cards. Oh my god. Look who's coming out of the jungle, buddy! It's it's William T. Mallison. <laughs> Excellent. Yay! Oh, we should have advanced the. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, Kung Fu Fenders is right. This is a car crash. <laughs> In oh, the best possible well, way. Yeah, it's the uh, a car crash and a shit show put together, like yeah. So. You know, it's shit like crash. a shit crash, exactly, like a manure truck and a car kind of met head on, and it was a whole thing. Um, mm, let's fix this. Um, that's, hey, so I feel, v oh, sorry, I actually have to do this. It's at the end of my turn, right? So at the end of my turn, um, I have to take two horror, so I'm going to put one on me and one on Will, who's just showed up because he's a real mensch. Um <laughs> Uh, but that's that's me. I'm just going to adjust my lighting a little bit, Crosshair. Uh, what are you going to yeah. do this turn other than deal with this Viper, I guess? <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering, do we advance now or at what point? Uh, that is a good question. We... Actually, if I deal with the Pit Viper first and then we advance... Yeah. That's very that's very possible. I'm just going to try to adjust this a bit. Man, that's pretty good actually. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, you deal with that first, and then let's <laughs> let's spend some clues yeah. and at least make some progress here, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Try it. Absolutely least. incredible. So yeah, Leo is just going to take his forty-five, and actually, no, no, no. What do you mean? No, yeah, it has plus one fight, 
so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just use it all up and fire at the pit viper. It's not like you don't have other guns, right? <laughs> yeah, I have a few. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be a five on three. Come on, star. Oh, that's not a star. That's not a star. Wait a second. That's the opposite. Ay, ay, ay. Five on three. So I'm going to take a horror from that. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's not good, <laughs> eh? Oh. Oh, and. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well. <laughs> It's gonna go out swinging. Yes! Punch, and punch, punch, punch. I'm just gonna try and grab the pit viper by the neck and punch it out. I okay. love the idea of hitting a snake in the face. Like, that's really ridiculous. Just. And just bonk it on the head. Maybe this whole campaign is a wash. I don't know. That's. Only a minus one. Correct, because we are not at a cave location. Yep. So the pit viper goes into the fun pile. Fun pile! I got it. Um, I got you, buddy. One on the skull. <laughs> so I have one left. Are we, uh... Did you want to, uh, do the thing? Uh... Might as well before I use my last action. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Do you want to spend... Do you? Sorry, how do you want to do it? We need four clues. So I have four clues. Um, we could also spend three and one. I don't... What do you think is better here? Um, we're not sure what we're going to need in the future, so... I think you're the clue messing in any way, so use my little <laughs> clue. Awesome. So you know what, guys? At the very least... Can I put these in the trash? There we go. At the very least, we've figured out what's on the other side of this. So we're trying to figure out uh, anything about the pillars that are found at the mouth of Kinyan. Uh, sorry, Kinyan! Nyan cat. <laughs> this is adorable. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> I flipped it over and it was an enemy crosshair. That does not bode well. So on the back of... Uh, yeah, it seems to be going tremendously well. Exactly, Lemire. On the back of Act 1 is the Winged Serpent, the Wrath of Yig. This is an 8 fight, 5 evade <laughs> elite monster and serpent. It spawns at the mouth of Kinyan, which is really good, because that's not us. Um, it is alert, and it is a hunter, so it's coming after us, and it is massive, which means it takes up the whole space. It hits everybody at that location. Cannot be defeated cannot make attacks of opportunity, which is interesting. After a pillar token is placed on the mouth of Kinyan, exhaust the winged serpent. It is not ready. Okay. So we'll see what that means, but um, that's a thing. Uh, I will read Act 2A, and we will go from there. <clears throat> you have discovered that the ruins within the jungle each bear a distinct pattern of glyphs, which match those found on the six pillars. As you turn the pillars to match these patterns, a serpentine creature descends from the clouds. <laughs> That's correct, Lamira. Cannot be defeated. Can't be fought. Uh, can't be hurt. Um, and you can basically just run. It's huge. Look at that thing. It looks like um, it's a quaddle or something. Action. Investigators at the mouth of Kinyon spend two clues as a group. So if we're both there, we can each spend one or whatever, whatever. You solve one piece of the puzzle. Add a resource to the mouth as a pillar token. Objective, solve the puzzle in order to enter Kinyan. If there are six pillar tokens on the mouth, advance to act 2B. Oh, yay. Uh, good <laughs> lord. Okay, well, so, uh, you have an action left, and it is coming for you, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. I think my action might be, you know, move. That's a, that. You know what? Honestly, that seems like a strong play. <laughs> yep. So Leo just hears this rumbling and sees this roaring, soaring serpent in the sky and walks to the rope bridge like, Hi, guys. Nothing to see up there. Leo, you're looking move. pretty beat up. How are you doing? I'm fine. Could we, like, um, 
find somewhere else to go? <clears throat> sure, I guess. Look, uh, I'll, I'll try to cross this rope bridge and see what's over there. Um, because I can I can attempt to explore and then uh, not get hurt. Uh, okay, so in the enemy phase, the giant winged serpent bears down towards us a little bit. If we can find an alternate route back to the mouth, we'll have enough clues to be able to like exhaust it and like you know keep it away from us. Hopefully, cross here. That's the plan. Uh, well, we don't currently have you know because it's one per investigator clues. Mm -hmm. We have one. <laughs> That is correct. So we're in we're in trouble at this point, but uh, it's the upkeep phase. So let's sure hope we draw something good. Why did you have to say that? I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I I I nope, just it's oh it's good. Oh okay it's, good. It's... Yep. Oh, but we still have the fun part. Mm hmm. Ah. ah, this is actually very fun because before we even draw, we're at five. So. Oh, yeah. The Jungle's Heart Agenda 1B. Are we alone? After exploring the rainforest for hours, you reach the top of a steep ridge from which you can see much of the surrounding area. Uncanny winged creatures caw at you from above. Uh, parrots, I guess? I don't know. Circling over the cavern entrance like vultures waiting for their meal. From this vantage point, you may be able to see approaching threats as they traverse the brush below. If only you had something to help you see farther! Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. I'll do that. The lead investigator chooses an investigator to be the lookout. The lookout checks their supplies. Basically, we're looking for someone who has binoculars. Do either of us have binoculars? Of course not. Of course not. Why would we? That would be such a stupid thing to bring. Uh, so, okay, well, I, actually, I guess it, it, it's essentially it's okay. Um, if the lookout does not have binoculars, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded, spawn it at the lookout's location. So it will spawn at our location regardless. Um, and then we can choose yep. who it engages, basically. I'm going to start discarding cards until we find an enemy! Yep. I... There you go, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, let me, oh, let me at least, let me at least take it to start. I can, I can try to get it away from us slightly and... Oh my god. What an absolute nightmare. This is the apex strangleweed. It's like a, a horrible climbing mass of vines with teeth that, that Leo already shot. Oh wait, no, you did shoot it and kill it. Oh, there's another one. Yep, yeah, I killed one. And now there's another one coming out from the rope bridge. These aren't ropes. These are vines! They're like crawling all over our skin. Okay, agenda 2A, setting sun. The day advances quickly. Through the thick canopy of trees, you can tell that the sun is starting to sink closer to the horizon. To the east, the sky grows dim. Soon the jungle will be covered in darkness, and you will have to stop and make camp for the night. Five doom. Same action which says explore, draw the top card of the encounter deck, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Thanks, Lamyra. I do my best to sound optimistic. Hey, let's draw some encounter cards, Crosshair. Are you ready? Sure. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <gasps> Overgrowth. Wait. Oh no, there's overgrowth everywhere. Uh, oh my God, it's everywhere. Oh, sorry, Crosser. Uh, it's I just put it on our location. Uh, oh. You cannot explore. Test no. combat four or book four to find another route. If you succeed, discard it. So, ideally, we're gonna deal with all sorts of shit this turn. <laughs> ideally, yep. I'm going to. Evade this, get rid of the overgrowth, get us the hell out of here, find us another path away from the winged serpent, you know. Um I feel I feel confident. Uh but that was my encounter Ray. card. <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> I feel confident too. Oh good, good. A bit. A bit that's a bit confident. Somewhere deep, deep inside there's a, like a speck of confidence. <laughs> or maybe not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, Do, no, of course I don't. Well, we'll it's gonna be a three on one. It sure is, buddy. That's a snake bite. It's coming. It's 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 going for your your bum knee. <laughs> yeah, the snakes are really interested in Leo this time. 
up. Oh, that doesn't Plus count. It's not enough, is one. it? Uh, no. Uh. With only one agility, Leo isn't going to run away as a snake just jumps up and bites his leg. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, choose one. Take five damage to an ally asset. Okay, I'll do that one. I don't have an ally. No. <laughs> Disappointing. No. Leo doesn't have an ally. Oh my god, it's horrible. So I'm gonna take one damage and get a little bit woozy from being poisoned. Yay! So many tears. <sighs> yep, we are doing fine. All is fine. Yikes. We. Yeah. He's been fighting that thing and two snakes and <laughs> his I was... dog ran away. It's... Yeah, oh, oh, Scruffles is gone. I feel like your your actions in these games are always so dramatic, and mine are like, I found a path. You know what I mean? Like, it's just incredible. Well, I okay, here we go. I am going to, I'm going to attempt to evade the strangleweed so we can just GTFO. That's the plan. Um, oh yeah. I'm true. So I'm going to... If we have a route to escape to... It, well, this is the plan. So I'm going to attempt to... Uh, you know... Um... Oh, 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 I see. Oh, sorry, Lamira. I, I understand now. Uh, so I'm going to attempt... Uh, Ursula is going to, uh, you know, step back from the vines that are creeping along the rope bridge. She's going to grab a stick from the ground and jam it into the rope bridge to hopefully kind of... Um, have the vines twine around it instead of her while she makes her getaway or make our getaway uh, i have six agility that is good enough for a pass because i am minus three is yep. still three uh okay so i'm going to draw a card from the decks that's fine uh this is evaded which is really strong i feel good about that uh next it does have a victory point though <laughs> Crosshair. <laughs> hey, you do you. Uh, I'm getting the hell out of here. Second action, I'm going to um, get through this overgrowth. I have five intellect. I'm going to commit the perception to be seven to try to... Uh, I'm going to see if I can find us another route out of here. Oh, Leo, quick, help. See, Is there another way out of here? Yes, there is. Draw a card. This is this is good. So I'm discarding overgrowth because I managed to clear us out. Um, I have a free explore action, which I'm going to take from the journal. Yeah. Well, it's just going to be like another way, not the rope bridge. Well, there's the forest and the jungle and the place with the trees. The, pl <laughs> the place with the trees. This seems like it's going to be connected. Damn it, it's connected to the other place as well. Uh, here, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, it's. Oh, joy. Yeah, exactly. So it's actually. Is it also connected to the beginning? No. Okay. So, uh, Ursula has found her way. To a trail that is uh winding and twisted, and so on. Um, I am. Oh, when I attempt to explore, test agility too. Oh shoot! I had to test that first. Sorry, that was my bad. Uh, I will test my agility and commit my essence to be six minus three is good. So okay, so we're so we're okay there. Yep, that's okay. Um, I get a free investigation here, so I think I'll, I'll think uh, I'll take it, and then I'm gonna try to get. And, oh yeah, and you have a compass. Yep, exactly. Yep. So that's good, and then hopefully I can again try to get us out of here before the beast catches up with us. Yep, you I'll... just need one clue, then get to the mouth of Nyan. And then we get one of our six pillars. Um, free investigate. Yeah, and the winged serpent doesn't ready. Exa that would be really good here, so I'll take my clue. Good. And then last action. Okay, so I, st I still have an action now that I'm here. Ursula, again, has managed to, like, clear a path for them, dash off. They, they've they found this trail that just kind of seems to go around and around for hours, but the beast is bearing down on them. Um, oh, here, you know what? I'm gonna actually going to be smart. Is there a location that's connected to this trail, but not to the ruins? 
right? Because then you can maybe get ah. out of there. That's the that's the idea. The ruins. Yeah. The the other way is you could uh, go to the overgrown ruins and just take the damage. <clears throat> <laughs> <clears throat> I could. Looking at you, Bill. Oh, Bill! Oh, Bill! You poor, poor son of a gun. Yeah. That, that's no, you're... one way. Well, also, actually, in that case, then I could stay here, take the clue, have it come to me, and have Bill eat the damage. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, Crosshair. Oh yeah, yeah. Or you could explore and see. Because you can move to the explore, explore area, right? Yes. So, in fact, I guess we're going to... So, yeah. if you fail, you stay there and the hunter hunts you. Yeah. If you don't, we can get the hell out. Right. Yep. I, I'm wondering, though, if... No, you know what? We do want additional locations because we want more clues, right? Like, that's that's the idea. So, I am... Yeah, you're right. Need... Well, cool. <laughs> <laughs> which which strikes me as like more than we actually have in this scenario, so I might be wrong. I guess we'll find out. I am going to explore from the circuitous trail. Uh, Ursula is smart. <laughs> She's going to see about getting us out of here. That Ursula is Ursula's smart. Ursula's pretty smart. I think this nope, not connected. That I think I have to actually look at what's connected here. Um. Wow. No. Nope. That one is. Uh, River Canyon but is... But the River Canyon is also connected to everything. <laughs> it seems to be, except up top, so at least I'll put it there. Um, I get to zip down to it for free. I think I have to, actually. So let's see. Yeah, what is it connected to? It's connected to... The rope bridge and the trail and other places that we haven't seen yet. Uh, it's also connected to the. Uh, no. Uh. No. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. a bunch of things here that like we maybe don't even see this round. I don't know. Was that acting? Yeah. <laughs> it's possible, Lamira. You know, there tends to be some acting on this channel. Um, not always though. Yeah, but, uh... Heal a damage. Whoa! If you have a canteen, heal so much damage. Whoa, if you want to do that. Yep. Okay, well... Damage isn't the issue with... <laughs> <us really. laughs> That's not yeah. the issue here. Um, okay, well, I feel pretty confident that I did a pretty good job, so I'm going to leave yep. my turn there and pass the turn to you. Yep. First things first. Uh, get Punch the, the strangle lead? Oh, here. okay. <laughs> well, I was tempted... Not going to lie. That's, that's fair. <laughs> Leo is just going to seize Ursula on the other side of the rope bridge and just books it over the rope bridge. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this! <laughs> Fuck this! <laughs> I hate this fucking jungle! Me too, Leo. Me too. Same. Okay. Now uh, Leo catches his breath. And then uh, mm -hmm. we can have oh yeah, but the winged serpent can't be defeated. Never mind. Correct. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, yeah. I think we're gonna hang here for a moment, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the plan. There's, there's additional locations that are connected to the River Canyon, um, like that are still in the deck, so that would be my plan, is we would probably explore from here, and then someone, me, would zip back to the mouth and like put a bunch of clues on it, probably. Okay, well, Leo is just gonna look around, like, you know, I brought those fireworks for a reason, Fireworks. <laughs> and also <gasps> the flamethrower bomb. What? Back. Look at this guy. Now we I. We are going down. So is this goddamn jungle? I, I, I should, I should, 
point out just in case this is you know something i think i think it is though your backpack is also carried on your back as is the flamethrower um they both t they both take up the <laughs> spontaneous flamethrower yeah he's just carrying it around he's like okay here we go <laughs> yeah you... it's a special backpack that uh acts as a flamethrower oh okay okay <clears throat> cool cool, cool. <laughs> just checking but yeah I'm, I'm gonna throw my backpack away mm -hmm. and... that makes sense to me yeah. To do. Which means the 45 also goes, but... Well, I mean, you got a flamethrower. Look at this. Yeah. Who needs a 45 pistol when you have a flamethrower? Honestly. <laughs> and as the last action, I'm just... You still have 7 and I have 8. We're still healthy. We're still somewhat healthy. Yeah. Young. Young people. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna heal two damage from you because if I start the next turn, then I can heal two from me also. Wait, can you do that? Heal a damage from an yeah. investigator. If you have a canteen, heal two additional damage. So I get to heal three. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's so. That yeah. thank you. I'm I'm taking yeah. it. We are just gonna hand his canteen to Ursula like hydrate or dihydrate. <laughs> well, I don't want to dihydrate, Leo, and I've never heard of the uh, the term, but I'll I'll take you up on your <laughs> offer. <laughs> Just <laughs> drink, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> Stop it with the witticisms. <laughs> Alright, good. Done. Yep. All good. So we get to the fun part. The roaring winged creature swoops down. I'm going to put it on the rope bridge where the apex strangleweed is. What the heck? Oh, I... Uh, it, it was a drinking sound, Lamyra. Um, there, there are other similar sounding sounds, but you gotta... You gotta... I, yeah, I suppose I should have been a bit more clear. The drinking sound would probably sound like this. You know? Um, it's now or, the... It's, or <laughs> something like this. It's, That is not what I sound when I drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's that's pretty good, Crosshair. I gotta say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should we um do but the yeah. upkeep thing? <laughs> <laughs> that yep. was pretty ridiculous. Draw a card and gain a resource. Good lord. <laughs> I do not know. Oh. oh. Well, this is good. Oh. Actually. That's okay. Yeah. Paranoia uh, sets in as as <laughs> Ursula yeah. takes his canteen and drinks ravenously and makes that sound, <laughs> you know, horrible. And I lose the <clears throat> one resource that I have. Almost choked on my water on that, but... <laughs> well, anyway, choked on my water. Worth it. Yep, worth it. Nailed it. Allegedly. Allegedly. We are so... There's no way we can get these clues in time. Like, there's just no way. Uh, but the good news is that the Circuitous Trail is actually a Circuitous Trail for us, because we can run to that, then the Winged Serpent will hunt the River Canyon, and we can get to the mouth of Nyan. Nyan! My, my plan... Uh like i mean we'll draw our encounter cards and stuff but my plan is to try to grab a clue here grab a clue at the trail and then i'll have a bunch of clues to dump on the <laughs> to dump on the mouth yeah. you heard what i said i'm so sorry okay <laughs> god it's the mythos phase mouth. everybody <laughs> mouth dumping mouth dumping thank you very much it's the mouth of kidney it's like a canyon mouth okay um let <laughs> i'm gonna draw an encounter <laughs> card here we go it's happening I go, oh, it's a creeping poison. Um, each investigator who is poisoned takes a damage. Great. I'll just take a damage then. Ouch. Thank you. You'll be able to heal. <laughs> yep. Hopefully. But that does have a surge. It does, because guess why? Life isn't fair. That No! Oh! oh! It's, uh, sorry, it's got peril on it, Crosshair. I'm sorry. Um, oh, right. We with the last bits like, we, yeah yeah and now open. they're and now they're yeah. all back um y you watch as ursula is kind of looking 
around and like looking down in the water and then she takes a running leap uh uh huh oh actually success good so she lands quite nimbly i would say on the other side nailed it <laughs> cool that's You're that's gonna my kill Lamira during this stream. yes we are uh lamira don't die please during the stream that would be really um important uh what about oh. you what about you buddy o uh i hope i don't take uh horror so here's to horror huh. uh what the f is this <laughs> that's a boa constrictor who just leaps out of the pit that <laughs> ursula jumped over 14 feet of scaled hunger that's some good that's some good that's some good flavor text right there Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, 14 feet of scale hunger. It's a long thing comes. It's a long boy. Jumping towards Leo. After it attacks you during the next upkeep phase, your exhausted cards cannot ready. Okay. okay. So, yeah, if you had any, what would exhaust? Um, allies sometimes i don't know what other cards exhaust stick to the plan you can't stick to the plan aha i don't know yeah it doesn't really yeah, make sense and they pack back <laughs> backpack sure yeah your backpack would be crushed under its weight i could also remember to use on the hunt mm -hmm. at some point but <laughs> <laughs> well potentially no if you have that yeah okay well we're thank gosh we're out of there um <laughs> What's your, uh, uh what's your... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, hello. Leo just polishes the head of the <clears throat> flamethrower. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, good. Just checking. And, yeah, just looks at this boa constrictor. Oh, I was hoping I could get to use this thing. And... Fires at the boa constrictor <laughs> with the flamethrower. <laughs> Incredible! Oh, wow, it's you're, it's gonna burn for sure. Yeah, it's a plus four attack, <laughs> and instead of normal damage, I deal four damage to any engaged enemies with me. I actually really like that mechanic. It doesn't say like you know you you know it, it mechanically like you're you're able to turn it on other things if you so chose. Um, yeah. But in this case, it would do four damage if it succeeds. So it's gonna be an eight against four. Oh my god! It's uh, it's on fire. Actually, I'm gonna also commit this. Mm -hmm. So that it's 9 on 4, so even on a minus 5, I'm going to succeed. You <laughs> dokey, that makes sense to me. Yep. Here you go. Hey! Mind. And that one is dead. With Clap one up. sweep of a flamethrower, Vio just lights up the whole <clears throat> <laughs> river canyon up and kills one snake <laughs> it's a big snake though it's a big snake uh, true true uh, it, it has vengeance so it goes in the victory display which i will put it up there yep. um leo what are you also... doing the fauna the flora she's like <laughs> like what are you doing yeah william t mallison well, who is a biologist obviously by trade is just like weeping a little bit in the corner <laughs> <laughs> well the fauna is the problem in this place and oh. the flora <laughs> it's true. That's all a problem, really. As a second action, Leo is gonna heal three damage. That's a just gonna have a little drink after burning part of <laughs> probably a heritage site or something. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Yeah. And as his last action, as the forest burns behind him, he just. <laughs> walks to the trail okay so hmm 
All according to plan. Everything's working. Let me think about this now. I want to try to get as many clues as I can and end up back at the mouth. So one, two, oh. Well, that's, that's that then. <laughs> I can't even place, ooh, actually. Hmm. I don't think I can place... Uh, I don't think I can place uh, something on the mouth of Kinyan this turn. Oh no, you need you need an action. For it. So so, so you you're to... so you're gonna get hunted by this this beast. Oh fuck, that's gonna. <laughs> oh doing. fuck. Um. Yeah. No, I'm gonna ret retcon something. Please, here, please do. <laughs> uh, because. I thought those places weren't uh... connected. Yeah, there are there are three more locations from the River Canyon, and I I looked at the exploration deck. They're all in there, so you will have a successful yeah, exploration. Yeah, I'm gonna just exploration means I move to it. Correct. Yeah, it's all it's all one thing, yep. which is good. So, explore. Here it comes. So, yeah, you get that top beep. card. The Path of Thorns um, is kind of... Uh, they've kind of put it, like, next to the... Um, they've put it next to the River Canyon. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. <laughs> mm -hmm. From the rope bridge. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So it's connected to the. Uh, oh no! Hang on, you're down here. Yeah. So. There you go. Yeah. It's also connected to the. Nothing else. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So yeah, go go be uh, safe over there. <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, we are we are now just... officially safe here theoretically. Yeah. Leo just runs into the path of thorns because that's the safest option he has. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I think then Ursula is going to try to go back and obviously, you know, obviously she wants to solve as much of this this puzzle as she can. Um, I need to like get there if I can. One, two, three. Um, so that would be three actions. So I would move, move, move. Yeah. I mean, honestly, Crosshair, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move once to the trail, which gives me a free explorer, so I'll explore here. Snag another clue, nope. hopefully. Whoop. Zip. Done. Which also charges up my camera, which feels good. Uh, and then... Um, this is a dream would be you have scenario. one sanity. I have plus one plus. sanity, which feels pretty good. Yeah. And then second action, third action. I'll move back to the mouth. So I'm here at the mouth of Kinyan. We, I have the clues, so I'll be able to, to you know, deal with the winged serpent once at least, and then continue on from there. And I'll come back and help us get more clues, I guess. Um, yep. Yeah. So in the enemy phase. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. True. If the serpent hunts you, uh, well, it doesn't matter. But if it hunts you into the overgrown. Actually, we don't need the circus trail anymore. We don't, except so, there's there's strangleweed at the rope bridge, which sucks. Oh yeah, true. Um, oh yeah, but you're gonna use the clues to like unready the serpent anyway. Yeah, so I'm gonna put him closer to me. I think I'm gonna have him come oh. back towards the mouth, right? That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Have him come towards the mouth. Oh god damn it, Cross. <laughs> Yay. Well that's uh that's that's that. Let's um let's get ready to rumble. Yep. Oh, fudge. Uh, the call of the unknown returns. So <sighs> Ursula Ursula's at least not in a position that she's gonna die now, so that's good. Okay. Oh what is this? What's happening? Everything is bought in blood. Oh my god. Because, because Leo burned the forest and he just remembers 
all the people he's lost. And... <laughs> uh, now I must discard an ally. Nope. Discard all allies from my hand. Nope. Okay. <laughs> and it goes back in my deck. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well. Uh, yep, I guess so. I guess it, it's like you didn't draw anything, basically, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I actually, I have one card that I really need, because if I get my kerosene, ah, I can start. hunt for an enemy, kill it, burn it, get some get horror, some sanity. Oh, some, yeah, some, some, some sanity back. That would be nice. I tend to agree with you. Uh, well, let's see. Um, maybe maybe yes. you want to do that now. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to draw my uh, encounter card, and, like, this is just... I'm going to draw my encounter card, Crosshair, and we're going to... Ants! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Ants! Ants! Um, test Agility 4. Well, you know what? I'm a dreamer. And in my dream, I saw these ants coming. No, the, the, the dreams are much more um, esoteric than that. But they are still helping Ursula here. Uh, six agility. Son of a fucking... <laughs> uh, I failed. So I will... I will... Discard a random card from hand. And I bet you it's going to be the one I love. Right? Yeah, guaranteed. Yeah. That's not too bad, honestly. Um, and then uh, I also have to take a horror. Classic. So the ants uh, are starting to carve their way. Like, they're crawling up her legs, but they're, like, in her mind, you know? She's starting to freak out a little bit. All right. You have, you have one sanity. I have one sanity. But you can also resign... Yes, I am in a position where I could run away if I wanted to. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, actually... Actually, yeah, I'm not gonna draw that. Ooh, Ooh. I'll put it back. Uh, I'll shuffle for you. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna spend my one resource and go on the hunt. Yes, on the hunt. On the hunt. So yeah, I'm gonna look for nine encounter cards for enemies. Well, I sure hope it's nothing too bad, bud. Um, no yeah. scene of the crime, no nothing, but you get to at least burn something. Ay -oy. So far, I only have And it does one not look enemy. good, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> well, I I guess that's. The I guess end. that's the one then. <clears throat> I didn't look at it yet because <clears throat> I didn't want to. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I... No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> so as we are. What did you go on the hunt along. for? Yeah. Yeah, on the Path of Thorns, he remembers this old folklore about the apparently a basilisk being in the Path of Thorns, and he really wants to kill it. <laughs> it's folklore. I like it. <laughs> so yeah, there's a huge basilisk that just uh, apparently screeches and strikes out from the Sony pushes of this path. Yikes. And first looks at Leo. Uh oh. It's coming for you. It, it's a serpent monster with prey who preys on the nearest to the mouth of Nian. So. Hunter. Yeah. Prey just. So, in the end. Sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say, just, just for the edification of viewers and so on, prey is a keyword which defines if you have to choose which en which investigator it's hunting towards, it will choose its prey. Um, it doesn't 
always matter because sometimes like someone's closer than someone else. For example, you are closer than me, so it's not gonna it's not gonna leave you to come to me. Um, yeah. But if we were, you know, the same distance, that's what would happen. Please, sorry. Please yeah. continue. There's the fourth thing that after a pillar token is placed on the mouth of Nian, shuffle one copy of Basilisk into the encounter deck. But does it mean that it's shuffled from outside the game? I'm, I, I, I wasn't, yeah, I, I wasn't a hundred percent sure, but, um, I did kind of check and just, just to make sure it's shuffle one copy of it in play into the encounter deck. So, so if so, you place the token that goes away, yes, it, it disappears for a while, um, which is good, right? Because I mean, we could choose to do then that I, or not. Then I could actually kill it. Before you do the uh, pillar <laughs> thing, because yes. I don't want it to come back. Of course you don't. Um, <laughs> of course you don't want it to come back. Oh boy! And also, all... I want to kill things. Yeah, I, I, I bet you do. Look at your body count. It's just wild. Look at all these snakes. We're gonna have vengeance out the beep at the end of this. Yep. Yep. Well, it's but all. The it, is placed. It's all. I'm real nice. <laughs> It sure it's pretty full actually yeah well I'll let you go first then my friend I won't uh, I won't take the I won't take the thunder from you here so to speak yeah you know this is a crazy thing <laughs> ah yeah contraband is full fuck oh well so Leo just sees this huge basilisk and sees that it's heading towards the mouth of Neon. Yeah. And knows that Ursula was running towards that direction, so mm -hmm. valiantly Leo is gonna <clears throat> raise his flame throw and then go so it. valiant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, incredible. Okay, so it's gonna be another eight on four. No, that's burn it be. down. Boom, baby, boom. Hey, Disco it's Inferno! <laughs> Look at the absolutely incredible. Four damage is wild. Like, there are not many weapons that do that much damage. I will say that for free. Yep. Well, damn. So... Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> as my next action, I'm gonna... In my emergency cachet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, a cachet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and as my last action, I'm gonna spend a decorated skull charge. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take a resource, draw a card. Yep. Paranoia is out now, so you you are no longer able to be paranoid for now. Anyway, yeah. I mean you're able so, to. You uh, understand? <laughs> yeah. The ally ruining card is still there. But yes. Eh. But hopefully you'll get some allies. That'd be nice. Yep. Uh, okay. That, that, that. Leo, just a casual murder. <laughs> so casual. Well, it's a snake thing. But... Right. Um, Ursula is going to... She's being called back into the jungle to learn as much as she can. Uh, I am going to name Circuitous Trail for my uh, Call of the Unknown, but my first action is going to be to spend two clues. <gasps> Can you believe it? To place a thing. What are they, what are they called? Uh, solve the puzzle. Uh, you solve one piece of the puzzle. Add a resource to the mouth of Kenyon as a pillar token. So I'm going to place a pillar token, which oh. keeps the the Serpent of Yig away from us not just for this round, but for a whole other round, it doesn't ready during the upkeep phase, which feels pretty good. So, I'll take it. Oh, true. Yeah. And then I'm going to zip, zip to actions with a free investigate here, uh, just to avoid taking horror from the Call of the Unknown, which would be really nice. I'll spend my Essence of the Dream to do so. Uh, do I want to do that? Yeah, let's do it. Um, so I'm, uh, I don't know, uh, five, uh, seven... Sure thing. Okay, cool. So, uh, so Ursula's kind of looking around the circuitous trail just to see if there's any 
additional clues, but they, she seems to have found all of the carvings for this region. She knows she needs to venture back deeper into the jungle to find more. Yeah, back to the river. Yep, back to the, exactly back to the river. Uh, we skip. Yes, but first we skip the enemy phase. We draw our cards, gain our resources, um, and uh, you know, friggin' go back to the mythos phase again. Uh, we're at three already. Like, I think this is the last one. I don't think there's an agenda under this one. Um, yeah. Uh... So, ideally, I guess we'll try to get another couple tokens on there. We're not going to get six. It's just how it is. But no. hopefully I'll, we can get a couple. I'll, in I'll... one turn. <laughs> I can't even make it there in one turn. <laughs> yeah, is there really no... It's so funny... Because, yeah, it's the... No, there's no way other than through the temple ruins, or the overgrown ruins, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we really do need to just, like... <laughs> yeah, we need to start moving it... back there, I guess. Well, you don't have any clues, yeah. so it doesn't help, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay. I could easily, like, force these path of thorns clues up. Well... Let's see what the let's see what the jungle brings this time around, right? Yeah. Ah, snake bite. Um. Oh well. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, Bill, look over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bill's not gonna make it, guys. I'm really sorry. Here it comes, Bill. You did it. So snake bite does not go off. I managed to uh, Ursula manages to pull the the crazed Malison out of the way as he's like blundering into danger. And nothing happens. Uh, so that's good. I'll take it, Crosshair. I'm going to take it. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Ho! Ooh. Ooh. Fucking, ants. Fucking ants. This is the worst. One ant is a nu nuisance. Another colony is another matter. Discard card from your play area. So I could uh, <clears throat> discard the poison, right? Mm. Right. <laughs> right, guys, right? You can do that? Uh, <laughs> can you imagine? You're uh, like, oh, I'll just discard my weakness. Sure. That'd be great. I'm going to be a dick. And oh, say that, that, you're that, is a di that is a dick move, but I'll take it. I'll allow <laughs> it. That's pretty good. Ants! Oh, they're everywhere. They're climbing all over Ursula here in the trail. Oh, my God. Um, okay, well, I will... I'm going to attempt to pass... You have a better... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm definitely... I'm going to attempt to pass it, yeah, for sure. Uh, so I have five agility. Minus two. That's okay, that's only one. So I will discard a random card from my hand. Yeah, I want to keep everything else. Ants! Oh no, they took my t tarot card! <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. They carry off the tarot card into the into the jungle. Hey, come back! I need that. Oh gosh. Yeah, the death card. <laughs> death. Yeah, I mean, ironically, we right? Well, we are the death ants. Uh, did you take your resource from uh, throwing that card at me? Oh, right. Just in case you Thank want you. the money. No, no, it. Please, you got to have some benefit for throwing your teammate under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding around. I have a plan. Oh, do you? Okay. Oh, I well, okay. Then what's your uh, what's your plan? <laughs> well, firstly, as uh, somewhere in the jungle, Ursula screams as ants suddenly appear. Uh, ah! Also, another sound is heard as Scruffles runs from <gasps> Scruffles! He's back! Yep. So that's my reaction. Scruffles comes running back again, eating some kind of snake tail or something. <laughs> As my second action, I'm gonna use contraband. Yes! Or, or my first action. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, Graspy loot has arrived. I just want to 
greet Graspy Loot. Graspy Loot asks, isn't, isn't this game always a disaster? To which I say, yes, but to greater or lesser extents, this game has been uh, an absolute mess. Uh, although now we've kind of managed to even out. Um, and look at the bit. body count over here. This is this is snakes. Snakes on a plane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did that, that one. Okay, so Scruffles is back. Um, the flamethrower is reloaded. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... <sighs> Scruffles is back. You got your flamethrower reloaded. Yeah. And I think Leo is just going to try and get those screws. Yeah, you take a damage if you fail, but I don't think that really hurts you too bad, so... So it's a three-on-three. Three. Right. Mm. Book. Book or Book. brain? Book or brain, pretty much. Which oh no, no no it is it is book sorry <laughs> i okay, forgot so. i forgot that willpower has a brain icon no you're absolutely right that's really yeah, funny so okay. yep three on three book that's one clue, clue! oh my god that's book. that's another pillar token uh, and together let's I mean. just clear the place if you can Apparently, I can. This Leo guy. <laughs> because, oh, it's a thorny path with lots of spiky things and things that can hurt you and deal damage to you. And he's like, nope, here's a clue. Here's another clue. <laughs> here's this. Oh, here's that. <laughs> oh, wow, look That's at that. Be like this. <laughs> oh, you're never going to make it back in time. This is the disaster. Oh, actually... Just about... One, two, three, next turn. Oh, fudge. No. No. I'm... Oh, my God. I'm so mad at this scenario. We just got stuck for so long. Uh, I'm going to name uh, River Canyon for me, and I'm going to see if I can get us at least one more token. Um, yep. Yep. So, I'll... Uh, so you're gonna do the same and get stuck. Well, I'm, I'm hopefully gonna like. I, I we do have oh, one more yeah, turn after this, a... right? So. Yeah. And hopefully, I can. I'm gonna try to snag a clue from this location. Um, Ursula's ducking back into the canyon. She knows, like, they've managed to activate one of the pillars. Like, oh my goodness! Like, what other pillars can I find? You know, she's gonna zip in and investigate here. Five, six, seven, to four. Uh, Fuck it, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I'm inquiring. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that was that was real overkill. I'll take the clue. Can we trade clues? No, unfortunately. Ah. There, there is a. Uh, I'll, I'll show you sometime. There's a seeker card that says, um, "Discover three clues. Kill yourself. Like make it. Take a mental trauma. Give all your clues to someone else." <laughs> Which is amazing. Yeah. It basically says, like, throw yourself on a sword and give all your clues to someone. Um, which feels pretty good. And Not I'm going like me. <laughs> I'm going to head back towards the um, the overgrown ruins with my two clues. True. Yeah. True, true, true. I'm so screwed. <laughs> <laughs> As we move into upkeep, look, I mean... I wish we could just, you know, give ourselves an extra turn, and maybe I, I don't. If we had a way to remove Doom, we could. But what are you gonna do? Upkeep, you know, draw your card and gain your resource. And let's have our last mythos of the game. Yeah, actually, we don't know what happens. So it's true, actually. You know what? It might say like repeat this agenda or whatever. That's that's true. I actually don't know. Um, hmm. uh, I will draw my encounter card, however. And just, uh, you know, uh, pr oh, actually, sorry, in the upkeep phase also, the uh, beast, uh, no, it's massive, so it will stay at this location. But it yeah. also can't make attacks of opportunity, so I'm just going to leave it behind, basically. But I'm going to draw my encounter card here and see if it kills me. Low on supplies! Uh, I'm going to choose that we each take a damage. Go! Cool. Ouch! No! We're fighting! There's fighting Seven. everywhere! 
Yeah, Leo just suddenly takes the damage. Like, uh, Ow! What the hell? Mm. I like to think it's, you know, the pangs of hunger or whatever. Yeah. Well, we haven't eaten anything yet. But... Mm. And, of course, Leo oh, is lost in the Oh, no, wild. he's lost! Oh, actually, that is quite bad, isn't it? That's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you've got scruffles, so there's that, yeah. I guess. Uh... uh... <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna be testing three and four, so yeah. it's not bad. Brain, brain, brain. Come on, brain! All right. Yay. Yay. Well, that is okay. very lucky, sir. Uh, if you fail, okay. So this goes away, right? Yep. Yep, you're good. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay, so it's back to us. This is, we're not sure actually what happens. I, um, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I want to go put another pillar on the mouth of Kinyan. I don't know. And then I could resign or I could not resign. I don't think it makes, I, I, I'm not sure if it's going to make a difference or not. What are is you planning? Is the enemy phase before the mythos phase? Yes. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Because if Leo is gonna go out, he's gonna go out swinging. <laughs> he sure is. Leo looks at Scruffles and like, "Come on, boy. Let's go make this epic adventure a little bit more epic." Yeah. Walks into the river canyon where he. Already is his flamethrower. <laughs> and. Oh, the strangleweed! Into... You crazy yeah. son of a gun. Walks to the rope bridge with the strangleweed and just looks at it as he lights the end of the flamethrower. Like, okay, I'm gonna burn the forest, but I'm gonna start with you. <laughs> Yay! And as the last action flamethrower just goes off as the rope bridge lights up. Boom. Wow, you he's literally burning the forest down here, folks. This is incredible. And we're gonna add a piece of flow to it. <laughs> well now that's exciting actually. This is very exciting. Uh yeah. so it's oh, gonna I'm... be a eight against three, so basically I can't fail and I'm gonna do five damage. Very good. Yep. Look at that. Just up in its face, just flames everywhere. Basically wow. sticks the end of the flamethrower into the pile of <laughs> like weeds and just let's go. Wow. Your friend took my bum leg and now I'm going to, you know, whatever, burn you, I guess. Yikes. Well, that is incredible. Um, I'm going to... Hey, there you go. Sorry, the the Autobot got uh, got our got our friend in the chat here. Oh, two of them! Whoa, damn! Nice job, Autobot, Moobot. Well done. Uh, I Ursula is again absolutely obsessed with discovering all of the possibilities behind what these pillars might mean. Um, I'm, uh, the winged serpent can't make uh, attacks of opportunity, so I get to move and investigate at this location freely um uh i will commit the essence of the dream uh to succeed so that's good i'm so going to remember yeah i uh, oh. was thinking like you might want to resign <laughs> i i'm thinking i might as well just in case right like we're, again we're not sure what yeah. happens here but like Autobots assemble. Yes, they sure do, Lamira. Um, okay, so I put another uh, pillar token, at which exhausts yep. the winged serpent at least. And then, yeah, last action. I'm just going to get the hell out of here. So I'm, what does it say? Let's make camp and solve this puzzle tomorrow. Leo, what do you think? Leo? And then she's like <laughs> looking around like, oh, I thought he was with me this whole time, you know. Uh, not and sure where you are. And there's a huge orange glow from the direction of the rope bridge. <laughs> yep. As we move to the enemy phase, 
yeah. Yeah. What's um what's gonna happen, bud? Well, Scruffles who just ran back to Rio. Oh no. <laughs> Scruffles is just gonna look at this burning pile of strangleweed as it attacks Leo <laughs> and gets in the way. Oh no! <laughs> Scruffles! And basically, Scruffles and this pile of burning strangleweed go off the cliff into the nothingness because whenever Scruffles is defeated, you have to have this like uh, evil movie death that isn't final yeah exactly it's yeah that that's my favorite kind of death the ones where you're like oh they're definitely dead and then you're like but i didn't see them die so are they really and then they're they're never they're never dead for sure yeah which means that scruffles on this last possible moment deals that one damage to the strangle weed that's and kills it <laughs> i'm i'm quite impressed that is actually really impressive i have to say uh, let's and we get that one more victory point. Mm -hmm. uh, as we move into upkeep, yeah. I don't, of course, get an upkeep. I, I was about to draw a card and stuff, but I don't get an upkeep here. Uh, you do, see what happens. just in case, I guess. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Let's go Mythos, um, and we'll just see what happens when we advance, because then we can figure out kind of what happens at that point, right? Yep. So we go to 5 out of 5 Doom and we flip. Night comes... Oh, sorry. Agenda 2B. Night falls in the jungle. Night comes swiftly, blanketing the rainforest in dim moonlight. The sounds of the jungle change as nocturnal creatures start to emerge. Soon the air is filled with buzzing and chirping of strange insects and even stranger beasts, the identity of which you are unable to determine. The dangers of the nighttime are too great to ignore, and the darkness makes it difficult for you to study the glyphs and patterns necessary to shift the pillars. You have no choice but to set up camp and continue your exploration in the morning. Each surviving investigator immediately resigns. So you don't get defeated, oh. you just resign. <laughs> oh, so the suicide mission to get us one more victory point was... <laughs> well, you're not you're not dead, so I feel like it's a mission accomplished in that sense. Yep. Okay, I'll take it. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna read what it says, and then we're gonna Crosshair and I are gonna talk about it on stream and off. I think I'm gonna read this. Uh, do not read. Okay. It, or until the end of part one. If no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned. The hazards of the jungle are too dangerous for you to continue exploring. If you remain any longer, these odd pillars will mark your grave. You decide to flee for now, returning to a familiar clearing several miles away. You know that you must eventually return to the pillars and figure out the pattern, but for now at least, you're safe. If there are more pillar tokens on the mouth of Kinyon than there were when the scenario began, in your campaign log, cross out how many paths are known to you, record that X paths are known to you, X is the number of tokens, so... Two paths are known to us. Okay. And then and then I'm going to read this crosshair. I'm going to talk about it. It says, The investigators must replay Scenario 5A, Heart of the Elders Part 1. Reset the game. Do not record anything except for trauma. No experience is earned. Anyone who is killed or driven insane must choose a new investigator as normal. Um, now, uh, this, is, this is a conversation, and I think it's going to happen off stream, because, you know... Like, did we get all six pillar tokens? No, not even close. Uh, what did we do? We didn't take any trauma. Uh, we accumulated six vengeance points, but two, three, four, five victory points. Uh, you know, the game wants us to reset and play again. Um, I am yeah. not in a position well, to do that tonight, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, we do have that we know two paths. That's true. So when we replay, we would start with two tokens, and we would rush to try to get four more uh, before the end of the scenario. Yeah. But then again, if you don't have six, you have to replay it again, and you have to replay it again until you get six, and then you can move forward. Yeah. Uh, so there's definitely a conversation to have there. But that's that's scenario 5A, Heart of the Elders. Hooray! Yeah. I'm just going to save the game before I forget to do so. Boop. Because it's important to remember where we were. Okie dokie! Yeah. 
Back to the full screen cam. When, 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 if we return, <laughs> we return. <laughs> yeah, when, we, if we return, exactly. I think, because we are not going to do this again tonight, even if it's only like eight, uh, seven, yeah. around there. But next week, I think we're going to have something different. Ooh, you're very right, Crosshair. I'm going to be honest. I actually forgot which week was next week, uh, but you're you're very right. Uh, we took a break from this campaign of Doomed a couple weeks back to have a tangent. <laughs> nice going, Scooter. Thanks, Graspy Loot. Um, we had a quick tangent. Uh, Jenny Barnes and Preston Fairmont on board the Constellation uh, cruise ship, which, you know, that was, well, it was a great time, but it was absolutely insane. Uh, next Saturday is, if it's not May Day, then it's, what? what? Beltane. Belta it's Beltane, of course, yeah, it's the eve of Beltane, which is uh, very exciting. Crosshair and I thought it would be, you know, important for us to celebrate in the doomed way. Uh, and the doomed way of celebrating Beltane is in the forest with magical powers. So <laughs> we are <laughs> we are hoping and, well, planning to bring you guys next Saturday another special standalone episode of Doomed featuring some spellcasters. We'll get those details to you as soon as I, we, have them. Uh, I'm the person who doesn't have the details yet, but we'll figure that out. A.K.A. Fay Fuckfest. Damn, Fenris. Uh, yeah, Kung Fu is uh, pretty correct because if we are the Fay on that weekend as the witches or spellcasters, mm -hmm. we are going to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct, uh, and I would not doubt it for a second. Oh, so hopefully you'll be able to join us next weekend um, for this, for this uh, very exciting thing, because that's the, that's the plan, to have another special doomed event. Um, before I sign off and thank everybody, I just want to mention, of course, we have streams throughout the week. Tomorrow night at 1800 uh, is a new episode of Exalt Switch Academy. Game is good. We're really enjoying uh, Exalted Third playing as Dragonblooded. It's a lot of fun. Great game. Uh, so please join us if you can. Um, after that, throughout the week, there's all sorts of streams from uh, RPG Clinic, from John, from Liz, from Kate. Uh, Sergey will be stream streaming The Outer Worlds right here on this channel uh, Tuesday at 1800, which I'm also really excited about because it's been crazy so far, and it's a lot of fun. He's a cool dude. Uh, but that's what I'm going to say. That's how I'm going to leave it for today. Crosshair, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> it was kind of great. I mean, look, hey, look, we got some... One of these days, there's going to be a gun inside a Bible. Oh, Paul, you sweet, sweet summer child. One of these days, there should have been a gun in the Bible. We kind of succeeded, we kind of failed, but we certainly had fun. Exactly. I wish the the victory points and the vengeance just rolled over between scenarios. That would be cool. What are you going to do? Okay. Yep. Folks, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great rest of the evening. Take care of yourselves, please. Have your water. Have your <laughs> drink of choice, whatever. Uh, and if you find yourself in the jungle, of course, remember, if you don't have access to medicine, you can at least have access to fire. <laughs> have a good night. Bye. Bye.